we do have uh, some breaking news that we want to get to. Uh, and this is uh, CNN's boss, Jeff Zucker, resigning over a failure to disclose a relationship. We wanted to bring that right to you right here on Live Now from Fox. The embattled CNN boss, Jeff Zucker, walked away from the network uh, today after a failing to disclose a, quote, consensual relationship with a CNN staffer. As part of the investigation into Chris Cuomo's tenure at CNN, I was asked about a consensual relationship with my closest colleague, someone I have worked with for more than 20 years. I acknowledge the relationship evolved in, in recent years. I was required to disclose it when it began, but I didn't. I was wrong, and as a result, I am resigning today, uh, Zucker wrote in a memo to staffers. I came to CNN on January 28th, 2013. Together we had nine great years. I certainly wish my tenure ha here had ended differently, but it was an amazing run and I loved every minute, Zucker continued. I am grateful uh, to the thousands of incredibly talented CNN and Turner Sports employees who helped to make this such a joy for me and such a success for all of us. I wish each of you nothing but the best in the years ahead. Under Zucker, uh, CNN has recently been plagued by scandals, embarrassing headlines, and struggles to uh, attract an audience, leading critics to wonder if he would be uh, shown the door once a planned merger between Warner Media and Discovery is finalized later this year. However, the sudden resignation before the potential deal was finalized sent shockwaves across the media industry. CNN also uh, indicated that Zucker's relationship was with the CNN marketing chief, Allison Gullist, who is a now former CNN boss and has, an, has been speculated to have a relationship with. Gullist will remain at CNN. She was appointed as former New York Governor Andrew Cuomo's communications director in 2012 before bolting to join Zucker just four months later at CNN. She became close to Zucker after a 15-year tenure at NBC before her work in the Cuomo administration and was once even floated as a candidate to eventually replace Zucker atop the network there. So we wanted to bring that to you right here on Live Now from Fox, everybody. Let's take a quick two-minute break. Stay right here with us. More news and updates ahead.